How you good guys? Uh, today I'm going to go ahead and clean um, my um, Cabot Guns S103. I put about uh, 60 rounds through it today at the range. I'll show you it's empty. Empty, nothing in it. Okay. Go ahead and take it apart. And I get the one piece guide rod, so this is the way you kind of have to take it apart. It's not too hard, but push this out like this. Line it up. Push the um, slide release out. I'm going to take this, goes here. There's a little hole in here. Can't really see it that good in this. <clears throat> that in there like that, let go of it. And there we go. We're apart. So let's go ahead and first uh, go ahead and clean the frame. Here it is. Oh, yep, that looks. And what I just use is a paper towel and some of my uh, cleaning solutions. These are Wilson Combat cleaning solutions. Uh, this is carbon remover, or a polish. A universal lubricant, and I do have M Pro 7 too. So, get out um, a tooth. I mean, you can use a toothbrush. Um, that's what I usually use, but I don't have a spare toothbrush here, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, find a toothbrush. I got one. What I usually do is just put some of this carbon remover on the toothbrush. Up a little like this. Make sure this is all clean. Okay, put a little bit more. And just take the carbon remover and get in here. The rails up in here. Inside here. This is a lot of. See all that carbon in there. See the buildup. Of course, I have a lot of oil in there too. So you can just take this paper towel, something like this. And stick a paper towel right down the bottom here, like this. Okay. Well. Get a little bit better there. You can use two uh, Q-tips and everything too. I don't. I use these a lot of Q-tips and stuff. You just take it and pound it right in there like that. It's just as good. Just want to get the carbon off it. So carbon, don't forget, has friction. And it'll help. That'll make your gun wear. So just really want to be careful. Not these rails clean. Any part where carbon could build up. Yeah, it looks pretty good there. Give it a blow it out a little. And it looks pretty good. Do it a little bit more. Get in there. Wipe it out. That's all you really have to do for this. So it's pretty much clean. See, that looks pretty good. The slide probably gets the dirtiest. So push that in there. Recoil spring, undo the barrel bushing, push that right off. There you have all this. Um, go ahead and get your carbon remover again. Get it up in there. There. Look in there. That's why toothbrush is so, yeah, so nice. We'll get right into these. Uh, Rails, you get right the serrations and the rails and the cuts, cutouts, and everything really nice. And just 
see all the shit that's coming up there. Then just take uh, your um, paper towel. Stick it like there. Like there. There again. And get in here. Just get in there. You want to get right in those, uh, any place where there's carbon. Because carbon is what's going to do, it's going to wear the gun the most. Boy, this thing was so smooth when I fired it today. And uh, pretty accurate, I'm telling you. Very accurate gun. Do it again. Blow it out. I blow it out. Any areas there. Looks pretty good. Okay, so it's pretty clean now. Your um, slide release, just wipe that down there. Any dirt, any carbon. You're gonna get a little carbon on there. Toothbrush is a great thing for this. It really is. You really wipe a lot of stuff off. And it cleans that up. And the recoil, you can go over that real quick. Take your paper towel. There. Let's do our barrel. And actually, you could stick your like this. Now, if you take one of these and trim them down a little, you could fit this all the way in the barrel. Just nice. And get your tongue. Bring it up a little. Get up in here where the link is, the barrel link. And if you can do this, just to take it like this. <clears throat> Turn it. I'm going to run a um, brush through here anyway. So, okay. So now, what I usually just do is take a brush like this, and I'll just screw something on the end of it, like so. And I put. Um, I don't have a plastic one, so I just put some paper towels on it like this. Okay, wrap up paper towels, and just squirt this, and then just beat it right through. And this will, yes, clean. This out. Then I take some of this, which is more polish. Got to mix it up. It's silver, and I'll take this more polish and put it in there. Like that, get a bunch of it in there, and I will go through there with the bore polish. And do a little bit more bore polish. This is great stuff. This really, and none of these chemicals smell. Just run this right through there. See how, how dark that gets. And if you look in the barrel, it's nice and clean. Okay, in there again. Looks, looks really nice inside there. I am going to put a little bit more of this. And I'm going to run this brush through there again. Okay. And one more. Okay. And I'm just looking through there with my eyes. There's some shit in there still. For that, I need the other type of brush, which is cut down a little. I don't think I got a cut down brush. I mean, I could cut this one down, trim it down, uh, so I could get this in there better. 
A little bit of stuff in there. Take a look. Hey guys, I trimmed the trimmed it down a little, made it smaller so it can fit right in here as you'll see. And this allows me to go right in here and clean a lot better. Right into the into the uh, grooves. So I'll put a little of this in here. I'll put a little of this in here. And I can get right into the rifling in the barrel. Let me just turn it like that. And it goes about that far, so into the chamber. As you can get in there and clean it real good. I'm gonna look in here now. I'm getting right into the rifling. And then you're gonna, of course, you can go back and forth like this. And this is gonna do much better than any kind of wire patches that you're gonna use. And of course, it won't be abrasive. And then you can take your paper towel and go back through a few times. And it looks much better now. Okay, so I'm gonna put one more paper towel through. Because I got some left. Bring this back up so you can see a little. Yes. Wrap it up a little. I'm gonna put some of this back in here. This is this carbon remover. It's actually um, it's a poor polish, but it takes out carbon too. And it makes it white. Okay, so that, it cleaned it up really good. Um, you put your stuff away. And the paper towels, you simply you could use those to help wipe off the gun or throw them in the garbage or whatever you're going to do. Let's get some of this. Let's go ahead and clean our barrel bushing here a little. Do the same thing there. It's all cleaned up. Looks good. Let's get our barrel and our slide together here. There. You can see how small the uh, barrel bushing on that is too. It's pretty neat, huh? Yeah. The way they designed the gun, they don't they don't need that big barrel bushing. Okay, and just turn it a little like that. Okay. The assembly, I just use this universal uh, Weapons oil, I put one drop there. Probably don't even need that much. And you're only going to need like one drop in each rail. One drop there. That's all you need. And one drop. That's it. That's all you should really uh, need for lubrication of the gun. Um, I really need much more than that. Put your, your core rod back in. Flip over the bottom like this. Just kind of, kind of line your your barrel bushing. I had a little oil, so I spit out, kick out the oil. In. Okay, put your uh, slide stop in. It's a little greasy, so hopefully, and then you can hear it. That was the recoil rod right popping back in. Okay, she's back together. And that's really all you do. Um, and of course, you have some of this left. You wipe the gun down or whatever the heck you want to do. Um, it's a um, nice. Uh, I took it out and fired it. And uh, it fired sweet today. And I'm not, I'm not no big connoisseur. I mean, I'm not a big uh, shooter by any means. I'm not a uh, big old speedo top of the line or anything like that, but it turned out really nice, and I appreciate uh, everybody watching my video. But uh, by the way, I'll show you these lubes again. I use these are Wilson Combats. They don't stink, which is really nice. So if you're doing it, you know, in a work room or a work area where it might be a little smelly, or you, know, you don't want to get the area smelly, that's perfect. There you go. Um, turned out really good. Uh, and uh, oh, I got a little thing there. What's that? We'll have a little thread or something. Okay. 
But uh, thanks a lot for tuning in, and I uh, hope everybody's feeling great, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you, have a great day, and stay safe.